Good morning, CCW. Welcome to day 11 of prayer and fasting. The topic today is growth. Are you growing any yet this year during your prayer and fasting? Did you make any goals, resolutions, commitments, or whatever you may call them at the beginning of the year? Did any of your goals deal with personal growth, bettering yourself, getting closer to God? It seems like the first of the year is a time when many people make these commitments and decisions. Unfortunately, often by the start of February, the commitments have disappeared in the face of the day and day struggle to survive. God wants us to grow spiritually. Several passages in the Bible talk about this concept of growing, not remaining an infant, not staying on milk, eating solid food. Paul gives Timothy an outline or a to-do list for growth in 1 Timothy 4, 13 through 15. The Bible says this, Give attention to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Do not neglect the gift that was given to you by the prophecy of the laying on of hands of the eldership. Meditate on these things. Give yourself entirely to them that your progress may be evident. Do you want to grow spiritually in 2022? I challenge you to do 1 Timothy 4, 13 through 15. Let me break it down just a little bit. Number one, give attention to reading and doctrine. Read the Bible daily. Don't do just a daily devotional. That's a great place to start, but often daily devotionals are what someone else has read the Bible and heard from God. I challenge you to open the Bible and read it and see what God has to tell you from His Word. Number two, give attention to exhortation. Inspire, encourage, lift up, build. Anyone in construction knows that it takes a lot more skill and a lot more talent to build people or build things than it does to tear down. So pay attention to what you're saying and the effect that it has on other people that you communicate with. Be purposeful about building. It's a sign of growth. Number three, don't neglect the gift that is in you. The Bible tells us that all believers have a spiritual gift that is to be used for the edification or the improvement of the body of Christ. Do you know your gift? If you don't, this will be a great time to find that out. That would be a great way that you could grow. If you already do know your gift, are you using it or are you neglecting it? The development and use of your gift is where your growth is going to be the most evident. Pray for growth today and do 1 Timothy 4, 13 through 15.